welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the basic, well actually the most basic jazz steps there are. So it's this very, very absolute beginner. So if you never danced jazz before, this is the video for you. So let's get started. So the grand batman, what is a grand batman? Actually, it can be just a batman. Usually a grand batman is when you have your leg more than 90 degrees. So basically, it's just you just throw your leg to the side, but it has to catch. It has to be rotated. What does that mean, you ask? Rotated means that you, from all the way here from, from your hip, you're going to turn. means that your nail is not going to face to the front, your big toe, it's going to face to the side. So your knee is facing to the side as well. You're rotating all this leg. Now, another catch is that the leg that is your base, it has to be flat on the floor. So you, this is a common mistake that you can see. They're going here because they wanna go higher, but that's not what it is. You have to start right. Even if you, have, you do a 45 degree Batman, and that's okay, you're here. One, two, rotate it, three, and four, to the side, and keep on going. Let's try it. So I do my right, right, left, right, left, and right. And that's the grab up man. Now we have the pivot turn. You know, for some reason, my teachers taught me this as a ball change turn. I think it has different names, but I'm gonna call it a pivot turn, which means you're gonna stay on your, basically on your spot, and you're gonna turn your leg. Step to the front, and back. Step to the front and back. So the leg that is your base in the middle, you're not gonna change it, you just turn it. Does that make sense? Let me do it to the side. One and two. Yes! Step and turn. So if you're gonna do a pivot turn, for example, to the left or to the right, you're gonna use this one leg that's gonna step all the time. I step with my right, turn. Step to the right, turn, step to the right, turn, step to the right, turn, step to the right. The ball change is very tricky. Why, you say? Because it's in every probably in every single step that you have, that in the chassis. So, the ball change means that you change the ball of your feet. Now, what is the ball of your feet, you ask? Is this thing right here, right here? So it's like, this is your foot, it's a big thing here in the front. That's the ball of your feet. So if you stand on real big right here, you change the ball of your feet. Change, change, does that make sense? So it's in your right and your left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You keep changing it. And you see it in different steps, like here, ball change, right here, ball change. Or also the kick ball change, kick ball change. And we're gonna learn those two right now. very very simple you have a chassis and then you have a ball change <laughs> does that make sense so I have a chassis right here and then my ball change the ball of my foot is gonna change from right to left right here you're gonna keep on going with the chassis and to the back right here and to the back let me do it facing to, to the back so we have Cha se and cha se and cha se and cha se and. Kick ball change. So it's basically a kick, a 
and it will change, which is pretty fair. So we're gonna kick with my right or left, it can be either. Kick, bring it back, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Let me do it to the back. So I kick with my right. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. There's like a little, you know, kind of balance right there. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Let me do it to the back. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Easy peasy. So do not, if 
Choose right now. Go ahead and choose a spot. Don't stop looking at it. Okay, let's try it. Let's make, let's prep it. In this case, I'm gonna look at you. Okay, so I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn right here. When my neck just can't handle anymore, you snap. Right here, like a snap. Right here, right here, right here. Snap. Right here, right here, right here. Snap. That's why ballerinas use buns. Ah, but you didn't know that. No, I'm pretty sure you did. But, but it's a, a thing that we have. So every time you turn, even with a pirouette, you, I want to see that snap. Okay, let's do it again. So we have, people do it here, people do it here. You can do it whatever you want. And snap. And snap. Right there. Let's try it. So we have right here. We open, we don't brow the Open, close to the back, close legs, close arms. Open both, open legs, open arms. Close, close legs, close arms. Open, open legs, open arms. Close, close all of them. Once you have that very um, safe in your mind, you can actually do the turn. So let's do it. We're gonna do it with the snapping. Ready? And we snap, ready. One snap. Two snap, three snap, four snap. The chasse means actually brushed on the floor. So what I do with my students when we do the chasse, I actually turn off the music and I almost like go to the ground and I really want to hear that whoosh, whoosh. So let's try it. You can do it either way. You can do it to the side, you can do it to the front, you can do it to the back. We're gonna do it to the side this time. So I'm gonna chassis right here. Oh, I don't have socks. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put okay, on that. I think with socks is better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the, with the first position right here. With my first ballet right here. I'm going to the side in a big plie right here. Be careful. I'm not going forward. You see this? You don't wanna see that. I'm not going backwards. You wanna have a straight right here. Straight torso. So we have five, six, seven, chasse. When you meet in the middle, you're gonna do a little hop, a little jump, and you're gonna put your feet together in a first. It's gonna look like this, right here. So your feet are here, right here. You're gonna jump and open. This is what, this is what I wanna see. Let's try it. Chasse, up, chasse, up, chasse, up. And I wanna see that uh, little, Hit in the air. Let's try it again. I'm gonna do it from the other side so you can do the right one. So we have five, six, seven, eight, seven, up, just, up, just, up. This one can be to the front as well. You chassis with my, it's in, you open in fifth, right here. Chassis, hit. Chassis, hit. Your arms can be in. Your arms, it depends on your teacher, but I usually like them in fourth. For my very, very beginners, I have them in the side or in the hips. And that's easier to manage. And we're done. I hope this video was helpful to you. And I hope you learned a lot today. These steps are very basic for an absolute beginner. But if you want me to do a more intermediate beginner or intermediate or advanced, Leave your comments below and I will read them, I promise. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment right there, and I'll see you in the next video.